Oh man. It never fails to like amuse me to see like the old clips. Like holy shit. I should add more clips to this like startup thing. Cause honestly, like I enjoy it quite a bit. I feel like we've we've kinda of not had that many new additions to it. It's been a long time. Also, let me just not like restart that another five minutes. It's fun to look at for just a second, but I'm not gonna look at it for the other five minutes again. So <laughs> how's it going everyone? Welcome back to a brand new stream. Welcome to um this uh this this beautiful beautiful gorgeous angle which i'm uh, i'm getting more and more familiar with uh fun fact actually about this angle is like i knew i liked this camera i knew i liked the way it looked um and then when i look back at like the previous stream i enjoyed it even more <laughs> so we're probably gonna be using this a whole lot more than like basically uh this thing right here i don't mind this thing it's like it, it, it's okay it's okay i guess um but like I feel like the other scene just has way more character. <laughs> but yeah, anyway, today we have uh, a whole plan. Actually, not really of a plan, sort of a plan. Like, who the fuck knows what the hell we're going to do? Let me go put this thing right here. Today, we're going to be playing up. We're going to be playing Dawn of War again. Um, we're just going to, like, hang out, do a little bit of game. Um, basically, like, what felt, uh, the thing that I kind of want to do with some of the streams is, like, I only want to do, like, two streams a week where I, I kind of, like, seriously play. Holy shit. That chip makes noise? Sorry about that, boys. Sorry about that. I thought I fucking muted this shit. But uh, yeah, um... <laughs> man, who wants to have notifications make sound in Windows? Man, I don't like Windows. But yeah, uh, so the plan for today is just gonna go play for some of the... Um, Dawn of War, we're now on mission three. There's like 11 missions. Uh, and like last time we were kind of like held back by the tutorial. Uh, I hope that I can like barge through them a little bit faster. Though that said, beforehand, I would take two hours over like one single mission and, and now I did one. So I averaged a little bit better. Um, so yeah, um, anyway, uh, that's, that's like, that's kind of the plan for the day. Today's just like kind of like a chill game session. Um, I want to have more of those. I remember, I remember a couple months back when I said, man, I want to have more I want to have more content streams. I want to stream more with like an idea. We have like a start and end that might turn them into videos. I still like that idea, but we're going to completely back away from that because it's very unrealistic at this point in time. Uh, there are videos planned to come out soon. Uh, like we have a, I have a much better schedule now. <laughs> so we're going to have consistent videos instead of seven a week, which I wanted to do. I've scaled it down to two a week. Um, and we're just going to see like how well that goes because uh, we're going to have to start out with two and then build up further from over there. Slay, what's up, Mika? How's it going, man? How you doing? <laughs> Good to see you, dude. Uh, yeah, let's actually get into the game. Let's get started. Actually, though, I don't want to like deprive you of the shot too much. Uh, I like it. I really like it. I want to get more of these cameras because I just I just like the way they look. I also really like the perspective of just like the, the side angle. Um, because I don't know, like, like just looking straight ahead with like the other one just kind of looks boring. I don't know. Anyway, let's go over to the game. Let's go over to the game. And uh, yeah, let's do this. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Let me get the, let me get the game started. Make it, how's it going, man? How are you doing? It's been such a while. It's been such a long time since I've like spoke with you live on the, on stream. How have you been, dude? How has everything been for you? Uh, let me go and uh, start this thing up right there, and then let me go and uh, swap it over to where the hell is the game? I still need to get used to like my stream deck. It feels like a long time ago. I need that shot in my veins. <laughs> oh boy, you're talking about a a real shot, vaccine shot? What kind of shot are we talking about? Shot of cocaine? Actually, I don't think cocaine. You know, heroin. Heroin's the one you shoot up your. I, I didn't know that. I don't know that. Look, I, I'm such a perfect like. Like person, I would never do that. But there we go. Look at that. Brother Mateo, second squad is to man those buildings opposite the market streets. Go. Here we go. Let's do this. Brother Tantheus, take night squad and shore up our defenses along our southern flank. Yo, the tribal. Coming in with 41 months. Holy shit, Coca-Cola shot. How's it going with you, dude? Man, that is insane. That is absolutely insane. Also, Tribal, I just I just want to like say thank you so much. I do not deserve you. I do not deserve you. I saw that like you extended your prime even though I didn't like stream for like weeks. I was like, bro, that's insane. You insane. Also, what's showing up here? I feel like someone is showing. Oh, it's it's my table. It's my table. Hold on. There we go. Perfect. Not showing anymore. It's cold as fuck. The spaceport. We cannot hold the spaceport, Colonel. We have to maximize our defense in one location to assure victory. 
Do not mistake the orc's simple manner for stupidity. They are far more cunning. Than Bro, I see. feel you on the cold, dude. The now cold go. has been so bad. So bad. And like, it's yeah. not really that cold. It just feels cold. I, I mean, like, I don't know what, like, like whether it's actually like super cold for you back for the in temperature. We should attack. Surely it is better than doing nothing. What you do we do? Meet the orcs on open ground. That would be madness. It is written in the Codex Astartes that this situation calls for a defensive action. I would love to have a book that you accounts for like every situation. Patience is the better. It's like here. here we go, boys. Like every single situation we encounter for, we envisaged. Here we go. We do this. Oh boy, Plus, there we go. The Perfect. Orcs have overrun the city. This transgression shall not stand. We All right. Will fight until the last orc is dead. Heavy Let's go and expand that. Be sure to place their defensive power wisely. All right, well, the game's just kind of stopped. There we go. All right, perfect. In our enemy's paths. There we go. Let's see if Fame's here too. Holy shit, Sacramucci isn't even out yet. Not until it's December 7th. My anticipation is overwhelming me with a specific emotion. Mmm, what is that emotion? Oh, wait. The orcs maintain an iron grip on the city's strategic points. Here we go, we, we have... Break their hold and deny we have... The orcs their these guys. I think I sort of remember this map. Reporting, sir. At your command. Yes, Alright, okay, I know this map. Sort of, I think. So basically, like, what my plan here is, is we're gonna go and, like, build up these, uh, these turrets right here. Or, like, we're gonna build up these extraction points, such that we can have the best turrets, and then we're gonna go place turrets around. Uh, I'm kinda curious, I think that these are here. Yes, points sir. as well. You guys go and, like, grab that. Reporting, sir. Basically, what I want is I want to go and like maximize my resources and maximize my um, my troops right here. I don't know if I can use that many troops. Actually, it might have been like a little bit too many troops. But hey, you know, we'll just we'll just make do. We'll just make do with what we have. Here we go. Let's go place another one of those there. You go and assign yourself to. I shall not fail. Yes, my lord. Let's see, are you guys maxed out already? You guys increase your things? You guys increase your things right there? No worries, I, I had to figure out how to do it. Oh boy. All right, you guys, go You go finish that. You go increase your numbers, you go increase your guns. Um, what I need to do now is you guys should go here. I should go and find my other builder unit right here. Knowledge is power. You go and be assigned to here, please. You guys go take this. Like, yeah, we desperately need some turrets around here. Um, where's my builder guy? Another builder guy, please. All right, build yourself a listening post right here. Oh, wait, it's not captured yet? Fuck, that's bad. All right, you guys go attack there. We're gonna need uh, we're gonna need more 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 trips right here. At your command. All right, orders. we're gonna increase these guys. I thought that was already captured, dude. Reporting, sir. I really thought that that was already sir. captured. All right, have you guys not captured this yet? Chosen. Yeah, you guys have captured this already. So what is this? This is a strategic point that we have yes, captured. Lord. Game, what are you on about? Come on, come on, come on. We playing this? Are we playing this or what? No All right. Let's see. I, it's been raining nonstop. I miss the sun, dude. I miss the sun too. It's not really been raining. It's just been. It's just more been like gray and cold. And you know how I always say during summer, like, man, I love the cold so much because the cold is like yes, the best day ever. It's like I can I can get I can get warm like by myself, but I can't get cold. But like, I can get cold. I cannot get cold by myself. So I love the heat. Or like, I love the cold. It's like, I totally like, I'm getting back on that. Like, holy fuck, man. I do not like, I do not like. It's just been like a nasty cold. It's not really been that much below zero, but it's just been like, bad. Like, oh man. I've not been having a great time. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, I missed the summer already. Uh, but would standing still to take time to read the book not change the situation? And the time it takes to find the information also does that not change? What a weird, what am ever changing eternity. What if the book already accounts for you taking the time to read it? 
Hmm. But then what if you know the book by heart? Like, like that's what I mean. That's why it would be so interesting to me if you had a book that, that like, accounted for every situation and told you what to do, basically. Like, that'd be kind of crazy to me. Let's see. We're being attacked from here and from there. That's good. You guys, you go and build another turret right there. I feel... The Emperor protects. I feel like I may want to, um... Following orders. Let's see. Alright, you guys go there. I, I kind of feel like I want to make another builder unit, but it feels like that would be kind of a waste. So, I have my turret set up now. That I'm, that's something I'm quite happy with. Um, do we have... Yeah, we have a unit right here. Alright, you guys go capture that point, please. Um... Right now, I can increase my squad cap. Let me go do that. I still need an armory. I desperately do need that. Population is full. Yeah, I know about that. Let me just cancel those then. Um, but yeah, if you know the book by heart, suppose just you just know every situation, how to account for it. I suppose that would be interesting. Yeah. It's like, how can you know everything? Like, once you know everything, like, do you really know everything? Is there everything to know? Does that not just increase like the amount of things that you don't know? All right, you got you you go and like build your armory right now. I think that we're kind of okay at this point in time. I think that we should be fine. There, these guys are capturing that. That is okay. We have a turret here defending. I want to basically like one thing which I really like to do as a strategy here is just like place as many turrets as possible, just like proper defense, and then we're gonna move forward. Um, I have become a fucking turret lover. Uh, it's like. I actually want to get my upgrade going as fast as possible can I, so I can upgrade them to like a level 2 turret and also upgrade these to like level 2 and you just have like a completely defensive zone and then you just start building your troops. That's mostly what I'm spending my time on. <laughs> when I played this, so basically this is a game that I played a lot when I was taking my time off. Like I was really not in the mood to do anything. I was really not in the mood to be productive or whatever. I just wanted to like chill and it, like I don't know about you guys but like what is your chill game? Like what right now is like your... I uh, just want to relax and chill yes, and not really like worry about stuff like what kind of game you play for that Because like back in the day I would play Warframe, but Warframe just doesn't really do it for me anymore I don't really have a feeling with that anymore. It, do it doesn't really feel I think that what I had with Warframe like I was I, like I felt back in the day I felt productive like when I went an hour into the void and I got all those things I was like, yeah, boy, I'm doing it and now I'm just sitting there like Yeah, man, I've done it <laughs> Unfortunately, Warframe. What are you doing now in Warframe, uh, Tribal? Like, what is what is keeping you engaged with it? Because, like, like seriously, I I feel like a lot. Like, there's, um, there there was like a time in Warframe where people, um, where people like where yes, went very very hard against uh, what was it called? Um, Orders received. Against like people criticizing Warframe, and then it became like the cool thing to criticize it to be like, oh man, why would you even be playing that game? It's so boring. It's like. Man, like, like, honestly, like, I can still see why people really fucking loved it. Uh, and I re still remember that I really fucking loved it. Um, but it's just like, I feel like I've been there, done that sort of thing. So, Overwatch 2. You've actually been playing Overwatch, Mika? Damn, dude. Nice. Um, you're still he represented heavily in the dojo. Dude, I gotta go check out the dojo. Man. All right. Tribal, what days work for you? Like, like, what days work best for you? Like, Mondays, Tuesdays? Uh, Tuesday, tomorrow, there won't be a stream. But, like, uh, I think maybe... Uh, I, I thought next week, Monday, I was planning to do Overwatch 2, perhaps. Um, maybe we could skip that, and then we just do a Warframe episode where we just, like, go back to the game. I don't know. I'm going to have to see, because otherwise I'm going to make do, do, like, a little bit too much Warframe, because there is also, like... Remember when we did the Fail Breaker thing? Yeah, Fail Breaker. That came out back in, like, September. Uh, I'm still gonna post that video. Um, <laughs> it's been a while, but it's coming. Um, but yeah, Monday and first day this week. All right. Oh, what do I have for first day? I think I may be able to do first day. I think I'm like, okay. So like this first day, let's just do Warframe. We're just gonna go and chill. Um, uh, chill on first day. We're just gonna go and do a little bit of uh, a little bit of fun. Um, of fun stuff there. Uh, let you. Go and build another one there. Um, let's see, that is building, that is fine. We can do another squad cap increase there. We're gonna have to wait for the research. Oh yeah, wait, there we go. We have the research going there. These guys are coming in, that's perfectly fine. An open mind is like a fortress. Let's see, you guys should increase yourself. We have 
Yeah, we definitely need our we definitely need a power increase right now. So we have a lot of strategic points. We have 122 coming in. We have 40 coming in on power. Generally, we don't need all that much power unless we get a machine cold. Um, so that is something that I'm just kind of like looking at right now. Yeah, I think that overall we're quite good. You can go and increase on that. You can go and increase on that, please. Um, we only have like a double upgrade here, which is sad. I was like, shit, am I resource cap that like I can't really upgrade that anymore? But no, I'm um. Uh, I'm gonna have wait with these guys. You guys can increase. Uh, yeah, you guys can increase on that. Cannot reinforce. Yeah, no, I know, I know, I know. All right, there's an attack coming in there. This right here. Let us wait. Let us wait. Let us wait. Um, I can like Riffins and Dojo decorate. Oh man, see like that. That is one thing which I have with Warframe is like I never got into like the Riven thing. I feel like a lot of people like like I, I've seen with you tribal like how. Doing the Riffins was like a real big like thing that like kept you going. I feel that that may have been the thing for me too, but I like it just never clicked for me. Um, so yeah. Let's see. Uh, I'll give you a guess. Which game I repeatedly play and find quite relaxing. Although I used to think I used it to think on various things. Oh boy, that's hard. If I'm in, a, I, I, I'm certain if I light a match in it, I try to blow it out, forgetting that it's it's not real. But I play a few other games as well. Hmm. Let me catch up with chat first. I'll get back to them. Uh, Mika says I've only played for like an hour, but I'm sure I'm going to spell spend the hell out of it during winter break. I have not played it yet. I have not played it yet, uh, because initially, like, the initial reports didn't seem all that good. Uh, but like, from what I've heard from people, it's like it's actually quite nice. <laughs> so yeah, like I don't know. Um, I guess I'm gonna play more. Uh, we're, we're definitely gonna try it. That that that's for sure at least. Oh wait, we have a upgrading. The emperor has abandoned us. Where where's it happening, boys? Boy, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. We need a machine cold. Where's our machine cold? Holy fuck! While the enemies of the Emperor still draw breath, Beckham. What the heck happened to our machine cult? We do not have a machine cult? The Emperor protects. Man, I'm afraid. I'm so afraid that this might still be a um Oh wait, shit, they've we've lost our we've lost our tower there. You guys go and build a listening post right on there because we need that as protection. Reporting, sir. Reporting, All right, sir. these guys thought that the they lost their faith in the emperor. I find that very, very disconcerting. It's uh, it, it's not, it does not sit right by me. But yeah, that's uh, what also doesn't sit right by me is that right now, um, we have scout infiltration, which I don't really feel I need because I'll just like take them over with overwhelming force. The only thing that I'm like, kind of worried about now is that we just do not have, um, what's it called? We don't have certain upgrades, which makes me fucking sad. <laughs> Like, look at that. Why? Why Why do we not get... Oh, man, that makes me so sad. Why do we not get our... Um, our upgrades here. Oh, man, I, I, I miss this. So, yeah. Uh, I was hoping to get the dojo ready for the dojo showcase, but I don't have enough time. Oh, what, what, what are they going to do their dojo so showcase? Like, I always felt that Warframe support for, like, their dojos has always been this kind of, like, a, a weird, interesting thing. Where they kind of, like, tended to support it from time to time, and then just kind of, like, didn't. So it's just kind of been like, yeah, yeah, people do great stuff in dojos. Let us, like, showcase it. And sometimes we don't. But, yeah. Just like this game sometimes gives me updates and upgrades, and sometimes just doesn't. Man, this is so sad. All right, uh, I guess the only thing that I can do is just create more uh, space marines, and then we're just gonna go and, like space marine it all out because we're not gonna get a machine cult, which just makes me so fucking sad. Because I was ready to go and like take their ass with like the machine the enemy cult. No fear. Uh, let's see, you guys, you go get assigned to Together to victory. there. Yes, most one. You go I build a turret the there. House. We're just gonna go build a turret powerhouse. Yes, Yes. Alright, we only we only get a number one upgrade. So basically, like what I feel I'm gonna do 
I stand ready. Is we're course. gonna go and make sure that we have an equal spread of troops, and then we're just gonna go and like build out forward. Because basically, what you see is like we have. Uh, I don't know if you can see that. It's, it's right here. So basically, we have like one, two, three, four, five, six strategic points. Beyond there, there, there will probably be the enemy. I'm not quite sure entirely. I don't remember the layout of the map too much. But I know that they're not really going to attack all that much. So, like, what I want to do is I want to spread out and, like, move forward with two and, like, pinch them on every level. And in the meantime, we're just going to make sure that we build enough turrets to make sure that we, uh, if they ever break for our lines, um, we just have that automatic defense. I love turrets for that. So, yeah, we have this going on right here. That turret is being upgraded. Basically, like, as long as, like, nothing is being done, the fucking builder guys can just build turrets, right? It's like, we don't have a, we don't have a machine cult to worry about. Um, I haven't played anything else during the last nine months, though. Damn. So, like, Mika, is that because, like, studies have been taking up too much time? Or is that just because you found other things to do? Speaking of studies, how's it going, man? How's it going with that? Uh, Afim says, well, I just did a quest in it, and part of that quest was people who willingly trap themselves in dreams so that they could see people they've lost, ignoring all the negative effects it has both in their real lives and in their minds. At least they could see the wife they've lost, or the only two friends they've ever had, lost forever on a ship, or they reunite their family when they couldn't tell their young child what happened to the other parent, all of them running and hiding. To be honest, like, it's kind of interesting having this, like, Let's say that we could actually control our dreams better, right? Why would like like why would we not always want to sleep? Because it's kind of like It's kind of like a really really cool thing like if you could control your dreams and dreams just feel real because like dreams can feel fucking real All right, you go there you go there, so we're just gonna spread them out. So we have one and one, and then we have another one here. Um, I don't know yet. I don't yet know like what kind of weapons I want to assign them. So we're just gonna wait with that, and then you guys. Uh, so we're just gonna go and do this right here real quickly. Move them over, and then I think we only have one squad here, which kind of sucks. Uh, let me see. How many squads do I have here? I have two, one, two, three, four. Here you have one, two, three, four, five. Glorious one for the Imperium. You guys just go here. I just, I, I don't know. You, these guys just get lucky. Um, an interesting thought was having a difficult journey that might make existential questions feel less life-defining. Uh, Travis says, they choose free dojos per rank per dojo level, and I won first place. Dude, looking at your fucking experience, I, I would actually be surprised if they don't give you first place. Like, I haven't seen your recent work, but knowing what you've made in the past, holy fucking shit, dude. All right, so we have four, four, so basically these guys will just be these, and these guys will just be these. I feel like right now we're just, like, super not resource capped, which is kind of nice. But I've had to... Venerate the immortal emperor. I've had to basically sacrifice my machine cold because I can't get a machine cold here, so... As happy as I am that I get freedom here, uh, so sad I am that I, uh, I don't have my machine cold. So yeah, what do we have here? We have four there, four there. So these guys are going to be flamethrowers. These guys are going to be heavy boulders. Uh, these guys are going to have to be increased. There we go. Hope is the first step and then basically, the let me see here. You can have a commander be increased. And then I guess these guys can just be chosen. Let's see, long range effect against vehicles. I guess I'm going to get like another vehicle squad. Because we can use another vehicle squad, and then we should be good. If dreams were too good, they would find a way to add a subscription for it. Eleven ninety nine for premium dreams. Oh boy, man. Oh boy. Uh, Mika says the crunch period is finally over, so my schedule's been very chill now. In general, year two has been much healthier mentally and physically. Nice. That's good to hear, dude. That is really good to hear. I hope that. Uh, I hope that that's that's gonna be the case for me too. Um, there has been a lot that's been going on. Um, he who stands with me and be my basically like um i want to see if i can I, if i can make like topics about it or, or, or streams or things about it i'm, I'm not sure how to approach it yet because one thing which i do not like is like complain or like be like be like one of these people who's always like man hold on hold on if we are to regain control over the city I need to go and see like how we're we're gonna we're gonna approach this. I feel like our overwhelming manpower should be good enough, but we're just gonna have to see this. 
There we go. Look at that. While the enemies of the Emperor still draw breath. Yes, yeah. my lord. You guys go and destroy that final turret. You go and help them out. Right. The first assault yes. is going well. The first assault is going well. Um, I would for sure get stuck in the dream realm, right? Like, that's what I'm saying. It's like... If it, if you'd had the opportunity to just like completely control your dreams and dreams feel as real as real life why would you not always be in dreamland right yes lord but yeah anyway let me see here and damnation a sacred machine cult has misfired and landed somewhere within the city we must recover the structure and any survivors. Oh shit, we're gonna get a machine cult, boys! You hear that? We're gonna get a machine cult! Yes! Yes, baby, this is what I was looking for. Alright, you guys don't trust, you guys don't have faith in the Emperor. We're gonna go and uh, make sure that the uh, Emperor's faith is strong. All right, let's see where our next build a turret, please. Oh no! Oh yeah, you're building there. That's good. My knowledge is at your disposal. All right, have you guys captured this already? Y'all should, uh, y'all should focus on the. Um... I'm actually go capturing this, eh? All right, so we have everyone here. You guys should go there. Go yes, capture that. You should go there. You Let's see. I think that this right here. Yes, I found a machine cult. Okay, I'm happy. I'm happy. I, we might actually still get our machine cult. Oh, Mitch, how's it going? Eating and drinking gets hard a bit in the dream realm, though. Yeah, that's something that we we're, that we would have to figure out, eh? But like, that's also that's also what we have to figure out when it comes to the VR realm. It's like moving, eating, and drinking. It's like you'll remember that, like. It feels like everyone wants to go for that sword out online experience where everyone just gets to uh, gets to be online all the time and live and die in real in like in like virtual reality, kind of like like we can control our dreams. So it's like, man, like how how are you gonna eat? How are you gonna eat? How are you gonna like you know do your business? So it's like that's also something that like a lot of things actually forget. Like you know those isekai things, those isekai things yes, where, oh yeah, you're just being spawned into like a random world. Barely anyone accounts for, holy fuck, guess what? You may actually need to, uh, uh, what's it called? Uh, you may actually, you know, need to go to the toilet sometimes, and if you're out there in a fantasy realm where they haven't invented proper plumbing, then what are you out there here like, oh man, it's such a magical world, I love this so much. It's like, yeah, sure, 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 dude. Sure you love that so much. I feel like a lot of people miss that. But yeah. Also, Mitchell, how's it going, dude? How are you doing? I would dream of a reality where Elon buying platforms does not lead to their destruction. Isn't it fun, though? Isn't it fun? Like, honestly, like, okay. This is my stance on it. And I, I like, I am actually quite curious as to, like, what you guys think. Because, um, I'm just looking at this from a perspective of this is how I see the internet, right? The first step on the road to disappointment. So this is how I've, like, how I've mostly seen the internet, and this is how I, how, how I look at it as well. It's like the internet to me has always been like a, a fun thing, right? It's like you kind of go there to just kind of like mess around with it. Um, all right, you guys go and like capture this. You build that. All right, so we have a giant battle here. Oh man, we have they have so little faith in the emperor. How dare they? All right, upgrade the turret. Upgrade this turret. I await your instructions. With all you go and build that. We stand ready. You guys are We're okay. Come on, everyone. Come on, everyone. Some of them, some of them are just standing around doing nothing, man. I'm, I, I, I'm disappointed. I'm disappointed. That's not the way that you treat the emperor. Though I'm not saying that I am the Emperor, but hey, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm just saying, that's not the way you treat it. <laughs> Let's see, I'm fine, thanks. A feature we're called uh, Legatus 505, and essentially in this world, people... Um, this let's see, let's grab this. Alright, you guys go grab that. Now, it seems that we have this Rotterwa under control. So then what I'm going to do is we're just going to place some more turrets there. And then we're gonna have to see. I think that we're just gonna go push from from at the middle. 
The thing is that I cannot build... Oh, wait, no, no, no. I, I can build more machine cults because I can increase my machine cult. Yes! Fuck yeah! I was like, I was super worried there for a second. I was like, man, wait, I cannot build my machine cult up because I'm, I'm at my troop cap. And then I forgot that, wait, we can actually increase our vehicle cap. Vehicle cap and troop cap are different, so that is nice. Um... But yeah, that thing has been taken. These guys, these guys are taking that. So let me make sure that we have not lost too many. Oh my God, these these little marines. There were only there was only one of them that died, and they were all talking about like, oh man, they they've abandoned us. The emperor has abandoned us. Man, stop whining. Only one of you has died. It's totally fine. It's totally fine. But yeah, so oh, that's a. All right, so they have a they have a machine cult there. We are, I think we did destroy that, but I'm gonna have to fix that thing up right there. Uh, in the meantime though, um, let's see. You go build a uh, listening post, uh, go build one right there. I exist to serve. Or build one right there, all right, he's going. Actually, no, okay. <laughs> I thought he was a fucking idiot, man. I thought he was an idiot. He was just kind of like going out there. I was like, bro, bro, he's just going out there like that. But yeah, I think that we should all go uh, go grab that point right there. Knowledge is power. Hide it well. Let's see. The Emperor protects. You guys can go there too. We're just gonna go grab that for a second. We have enough people here to defend this. So uh, let me let me go place this right here, and then we're gonna talk, go talk about the the, the Twitter stuff, because I honestly find it quite funny. I honestly find it quite funny. So uh, people have IS, uh, IIS pronounced eyes, which they use in place of their eyes, because the entire world is more of a digital space, and the physical realm is pretty much gone. So instead of a building, you see buildings in a nutshell. I thought unless Cornell uh, said he'll make sure his man has improved, look at their faith. Those servitors are lobotomized humans that serve the Adaptus Mechanicus, who are in alliance to the Imperium of Man, but don't share their beliefs. They believe in the machine spirit and literally pray to machines. They also speak to the machine god, known as Omnissiah. Hmm, interesting. So, like, surely but surely, like, I, I, I get more of an understanding what the hell is going on when, you, when, when we talk about that, which I find really cool. Alright, so we can just queue up a couple more of them, so that's fine. Um... Here, you yes, so can go and build another listening post right there, please. Um, we're gonna go upgrade that right there. How's this battle progressing? All right, so there was not really a battle here. Yo, what was I worried about, eh? All right, you fix that up. We're gonna go upgrade this thing right here. So let's talk about Twitter, boys. Let's talk about Twitter. <laughs> I thought about like I, I was I was thinking about maybe we'll maybe we'll do this like as a topic for like just shouting, but then again it's like there's so much going on there, and it's also like somewhat interesting and somewhat also not interesting because it's kind of like, oh yeah, oh boy, oh fuck, we're actually like under attack. Even in death, I still serve. We'll show these filthy aliens what Imperial Guard are made You guys go attack, God, eh? Ready to serve again. All right, so now you, um, since we're kind of abandoning this right here, I'm gonna have to go play some turrets there. But yeah, we're gonna we're pretty much taking these guys out. Come on, everyone! Now we're just gonna go like soup into this camp here as well. I guess I get. I guess we're just doing this. We can use a couple to attack that there. Here, I believe, yeah, we just had uh, we just had some there. Let's see, you go over there. We just need to like go and build like a defensive position here, and then like whenever they come in, that's fine. It's been wild on Twitter. It has, it has, but it's like it's such a weird thing. So. When I look at the Twitter situation, there are some things which are like really funny or like really interesting that's been there going on. I was like, holy shit, like the the Ligma Johnson guys. <laughs> I thought it was quite a funny thing, um, the way that that's been going on. Um, but at the same time, it's like, it's kind of so isolated, right? That it's kind of like things are going on, but you never really get a clear picture of it since a lot of the stuff is kind of, uh, it's just kind of like happening behind closed doors and people tweet about it. But that's just like people tweet about it. You don't really get like an independent report out of it. Just like what you have with, for instance, the, um, uh, what is that? 
we have like that situation going on right now with uh, with, with the Doom producer guy. Like there you have like a little bit more of a uh, of a clear thing going on where it's like, oh hey, you know, um, there's proof, there's things going on, but now things are happening at such a rapid pace that it's like the one story comes out, then the next comes out, then the next comes out, then the next comes out, and you don't really have time to like keep up with it. <laughs> but yeah, uh, Mika says he's such a clown. Like boy, you could you could you could have done so many other things with that money. Now, so here's here's kind of my view on like the um, on like the Twitter stuff. To me, I'm not really an average Twitter user, right? Uh, I basically grabbed the platform, like I basically got into the platform like years back, like years back when I was still like in in high school. I just played it, played around with it for like personal use. Whereas like I was following my friends, and whenever we'd like we'd have a class or so, we'd just be like, oh yeah, class is missed or we're free or whatever. Uh, then like I had friends where we just like we just like meme about with. So like we'd create like a couple of like random accounts that didn't really mean anything. We try to like create our own hashtags and just like just have a bit of fun. Memeing around, fucking around with things. Um, but other than that, like, it was just a place where you'd say, like, good morning. You'd try to, like, do some fun-ass jokes. Uh, try to confuse people with, like, making fake Twitter accounts and then trying to, like, make them question about who the hell could this be, right? I thought that was funny. I thought it was funny back then. It was just kind of, like, teenager years where, I, where where you just, like, try random shit to try and be funny. Today, the enemy shall and, and that was it. Um, then I kind of like deleted that at a certain point in time when I decided to just like delete my socials because I was like, well, you know, what's what's the point? Uh, I kind of lost interest in Twitter at that point in time. And then basically, what was it like YouTube came around? and I was like, well, I should probably have a YouTube for my channel because that might be useful. Right. Um, and it was kind of an interesting place to get in touch with other creators. Just be like, hey, you know, you, you could shoot them DMs, you could like kind of post things. But honestly, I've never really seen people try to like use it for promotional material and stuff. I've never really seen that conversion. So for me, Twitter, if I if I had to use it, what I would just do is like, oh yeah, this, let's just go fuck around with it, right? Let's just go meme about a bit. Um, it's never a platform that I felt close to. It's never a platform that I would um, make my friends on or follow people on and like watch religiously every day for content. So like it, if I look for instance, if I look at uh, if I look at Facebook, I remember there were days at Facebook where I would, um, what is it? Where I would follow my friends and just see what they do. I would I'd, like watch their pictures, I'd message them, that sort of stuff. It was kind of, I was involved with that. If I look at YouTube, like YouTube is something where right now I'm like, I, I check for subscriptions. See, see what the people that I follow have posted. Other than that, I don't really, like, I don't really do much with Twitter. I, I'm, I'm never really, like, watching someone on Twitter. I'm like, oh, man, I can't wait to see them tweet because their tweets content is so good. It's like, no, nah, I never, ever, ever have that. So for me, Twitter is just kind of a place where you just kind of muck about. <laughs> so then when, when, like, Elon comes around and he buys it, it's like, I I, I don't really have a stake in it. It's like, if it, if it lives, if it crashes, if it dies, who cares? If it's entertaining in the meantime, fuck it. And then, like, he comes around and does his, this, does his entire thing when it comes to, uh, what's it called, like, the verification stuff. And to be honest, it's like, if I, it, if you were to ask me about, like, what is my opinion on, like, the verification shit, it's like, to be honest, I, I can see, I can see why the decision was made to, like, oh, let's actually monetize it. Because from what I've heard, like, the monetization, the, like, the, the verification stuff was just, like, a very shady gray area to begin with, with... Some journalists getting them, but like if you were like a a giant YouTuber or whatever, or you were like a, a social media personality, you would you wouldn't get it. You just wouldn't get it because you're not important enough. But if you if you wrote like one article, like one journalistic article, uh, and you had ten followers, you could get verification, or you could pay ten thousand dollars to get verification, that blue check mark. So I can understand that if it's in such high demand and there's already such weird practices around it, just like how how you get to like Warframe partnership, right? And Warframe partnership itself didn't really mean anything. It's like imagine that you're making so much loss every day that you're just like, hey, you know, why don't we just why don't we just fucking go out and like sell this to people, right? If it doesn't mean anything to begin with, why don't we just sell this to people? And you, and you saw that people actually like enjoyed it. <laughs> People actually fucking bought that shit. Um, so I can I can see why that move was made. I can also see that people are like, well, it's kind of weird that you're just kind of like selling partnerships or whatever you want to call it. Like let's let, let's relate actually with Warframe partnership. It's like Warframe partnership didn't really mean anything. If you if you don't know about Warframe, because uh, you've been around for the channel with the channel only for like a shorter amount of time than just like the last couple of years, uh, Warframe was basically like this this grand game where 
creators could get partnered, which meant that they would get just free ship from in-game that they could make reviews about. But that was just kind of about it. Um, so then, basically, like, some people really wanted to get partnered because they saw it as something very important. Um, however, I never really saw it as something that meant much of anything. Because it was like, if you were partnered, you got, like, items in game that you could get with, like, just, like, a little bit of grinding. It didn't really mean that you represented anything or that you you were more special than anyone. Um, and I never really saw anyone, like, get real giant growth or whatever out of being a Warframe partner sort of shit. So... That's the way that I like in the Twitter verification too, is like some people really, really like look up to it and they're like, oh man, I really want to get verification. Um, but to me, like it never really meant much other than I guess what you had on Twitter right now was like that you had extra functionality. You could like message each other and then like you could have special DMs and messages and show ups in people that were verified as well, I guess. But whatever, right? You know, if people want to sell that, if you want to sell that for like a little bit of money, I can understand that. Like, if I was Warframe and I could sell my, my, my partnerships for, like, what's it called? Like, 10 bucks a month? Like, dude, that would actually be quite a smart move. Like, I would actually get behind Warframe selling that partnership for just, like, 10 bucks a month. It's like, to be honest, like, that would be a very smart investment, right? <laughs> it's like, you know, like, if, if you want to be a Warframe creator for 10 bucks a month, like, you can just get all your, all your stuff early. Actually, that would be a very smart move. Um... And to be honest, like, it was kind of a funny meme. Like, when, what, what people were like, yeah, what's going to happen is people are going to, like, impersonate and it's going to be really, really funny. And that's also what people got mad about. Like, when you saw the, uh, what's it called? When you saw the verification stuff going on with the with the pharmaceutical company, where it's like, <laughs> we're going to make insulin free and then their stock price just tanked. Oh, man, dude. Like, that shit was funny AF. Like, holy shit, man. Also, we're just being attacked right there? What the fuck, boys? What the fuck y'all doing, eh? All right. Um. My knowledge is at your disposal. All right, come on, guys. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Venerate the immortal emperor. All right. So then, I actually just want to make sure that there is nothing here. Today, the enemy shall know fear. Just want to make sure that there is nothing here. I don't think so, but I just, I, I just want to be certain. Even in death, I still serve. Alright, you guys move on. See, this is just like the the sweeping clean. The yeah, there's nothing here. Alright, everyone move there. We're gonna have like one battalion over here. Awaiting orders. Yes, sir. Actually, you guys can move over there, and then we're just gonna do like a pincher. We're gonna go do a mincher pincher. I only knew about half the insulin thing. Okay, so basically, like, what happened is someone created, uh, someone created this, like, an account, um, of this, of this, like, medical firm, of this, like, pharmaceutical firm, and they just, they just tweeted out a very standard tweet. From now on, insulin will be free. And then what happened is basically they just, like, their stock just tanked by, like, I think about a billion dollars or so. It was, like, large. It was a big, huge amount. And, like, people got fucking mad at it. It was like, bro, Twitter just ate it in, like, this company losing so much stock. And I was just looking at that. I was like, bro, who the hell is getting their investment advice from Twitter? Like, holy fucking shit, man. It's like, I, I love, I love just seeing that they were able, like, whoever made that account was able to, like, fool so many people into believing that that was the actual company. It's like, to me, like, if you look at, like, um, I think Internet History is, like, a great channel for this. So if you look at Internet Historian, like he has some he has some fun things about polls and stuff, videos about where basically like they leave it up to the internet to decide on certain things. So what you have here was um, like one of those things was um, back in the early days of the internet, like what marketing companies would like to do was like they would go out and like do polls. Where during those polls, like you could decide where you wanted your favorite artists to like go and um, go and like perform. So they would have an artist. That would like that would like perform like go on tour and then people could choose where they would want to go where where they went to would want to go to and then basically what they would go ahead and do is hold on but yeah let me let me skip that but basically like what they would do is like they would go and phone for that artist to then go and like 
perform in North Korea. Like, everyone would go and, like, jump on North Korea. Or you'd have this stuff where um, there was, like, this Taylor Swift biggest fan, and they would just, like, have some, like, neckbeard dude from Reddit. Then it would just, like, go and, like, like defense of the city. put all the way, push all the way forward. And, like, that shit was brilliant, man. Um, there, there was also this time when, like, Jurex was doing, like, a condom thing. They were doing, like, a, like, like, they were doing, like, a, a secret, like, condom marketing thing where it was, like, go out and have condom pop-up stores and, like, some sort of, like, place. And then, like, you could vote where the next, which, what, what the next city would be where they would do, like, the pop-up thing. <laughs> and basically, people all decided to, like, go and vote on Batman. There's a city in Turkey that's called Batman. <laughs> like, that shit is wonderful. That, that's what I love about the internet. For me, the internet is kind of, like, half as, like, a resource where you can, like, go and, like, look things up, which normally you can do, and half just a place where you can fuck about and have fun with the world for this sort of shit. So if I see that, like, there's this possibility where I can, like, buy a blue badge and then I can just, like, place this thing where it's like, I'm this company. Like, hold on. Let me, let me go find the insulin is free. Let's see here. So yeah, here we go. Let's see if I can if I can bring this up. So this right here was like the LA Lily uh, and Company. <laughs> here, we're excited to announce that insulin is free now. And then basically, like what you had here was I don't know I don't know I don't know if they had the stocks here. LA Lily. Uh, stock. Let's see. Let's see if we can find a stock price of this. Yeah, here we go. Let's go take a look here. So if we go over, uh, shut the fuck up. Five days, one month. So like basically, like this was this was one day like like when when that tweet came out. Like look, that stock price went from like three hundred and sixty to like I don't know three hundred and forty. <laughs> Like that shit was wild, man. That shit was wild. It was fun. <laughs> it's like it's not fun for people like that that, that, that that like lose their value there. But it's like, who the fuck believes things that they see on Twitter? It's like I don't know, man. Like I grew up like you don't believe the shit that's out there on Twitter. So when people like just for eight bucks of this, just to, like see what happens, and then this shit actually works. I'm like, yo, that's a win for the internet. That's a win for the people on the internet. People shouldn't have been so stupid. I was I, I was there when a phone uh, when a phone. To name something and uh, and the winning foot was Hitler did nothing wrong, right? Like that, like this shit is in the same vein. This shit right here is in the same vein. Um, like let me see here, other like um, Twitter impersonations. Let's see if there is more. I don't I don't know if I can find more. Like there 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 were a couple of these. There were a couple of these which were going on. Um, Let's see. Here we have a couple. Here we have a couple. Let's see. Um, so, an account pretending to be NBA superstar LeBron James tweeted that he was requesting to be traded from the Lakers, while another account uh, impersonating an MLB pitcher and current free agent Chapman tweeted that he'll be staying with the Yankees, with both tweets receiving thousands of retweets before taken down. A British user was able to get a fake Donald Trump account verified and tweet out, this is why Elon Musk's plan doesn't work, before taken down by Twitter. So yeah, like... I, d I can't really find it like for, I can't really find the best ones. There is a couple more good ones, but I like it. I like it. I, I like the message out there. Honestly, like what's gonna happen is like a lot of these things will, will be taken out. A lot of this stuff won't really work anymore, right? Um, and people get mad about it, uh, but it's like to me if I look at this, I think this is funny. I think it's funny. I'm like I don't really care. I've never really used Twitter all that much, and I don't really see the problem with people just going out here. And just having fun with this shit. It's like, at the end of the day, it's like, it's not like the internet is a place that you're supposed to take serious. Let's see if I can... Alright, you guys go and attack that. Please and thank you. Alright. Oh, the Chiquita Banana was one. Hold on. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I saw that one. I saw that one. Uh, Tweed. Government. Overthrow government. Yeah, that was the one. That was the one. Oh, I can't find it. Uh, let's see if I can find it. 
But yeah, it was something like, uh, it was like, we promise we won't overthrow our government. Uh, like, we won't try and overthrow our government again. Oh, that was so good. Oh, uh, shoot. Oh, I've lost this. Holy fuck, how did I lose that? Oh, I should have, like, I should have been more on point of this. I was looking for funny tweets. So, yeah, like, when I look at it, I'm just kind of like, oh, man, that's kind of funny. Uh, I enjoy it. I, I have some goofs. I have some laughs about it. Um, let's see if my tanks will, will complete this. Um, so, yeah, like, that, 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 that's when I just look at the Twitter stuff, like, that's, that's what I see. Honestly, like, there's also some, some things there where I, like, I look at things where it seems... Some developers are just being fired left, right, and center without any notice uh, because they openly come out and like answer like public tweets that Elon makes, and like they're like, "Well, this is this is what we've done. This is how we improve it. This is how it functions." And then he's like, "Well, now you're fired." Like that shit is ridiculous. That shit is actually like I feel I feel like under a lot of like modern workers' laws, that shit should not even be allowed. So I don't know how that that exactly works. That's something which like I don't really like to see. At the same time, I can also say like how a lot of these tech companies right now are super fucking bloated and you're gonna have to like make some like make some they make some cuts so yeah honestly like overall if i look at twitter right now it's not a platform that i actively use it's not a platform that i've really gotten a lot out of over the last few years um war bosses in the vicinity of this location. oh fuck yeah we actually made we're able to oh wow it did give me a mission failure oh so sad i thought i was actually gonna be able to do this but yeah no um so, like, overall, like, that's kind of, like, where it's done. It's, like, I think, like, the memes that have come out of it are quite funny. I feel people are kind of overreacting with the impersonation stuff. It's, like, bro, you shouldn't have, you shouldn't believe what's on Twitter anyway. It's, like, if you're, if you're going to be out there, you're just going to be, like, the, believing what some, like, what you see on Twitter. Just based on, like, the single tweet that you see, you don't really go out to... To confirm... That sort of stuff, it's like, that's kind of weird, man. It's like, come on. <laughs> but yeah, on, other than that, um... Alright, let's just have these guys destroy this stuff. But other than that, like, yeah, like, I don't know. I'm quite curious to see, like, what's gonna happen with it. Um, I feel like... If it goes down, it goes down. If it stays up and it, like, it changes into something, I'm quite curious what it will change into. Maybe they'll bring fine back, but I don't know. I really don't know. But yeah, what do you guys think about Twitter? I'm hopeful that Twitter will be better in the future. See, I, I get that feeling too. I get that feeling too. Like either it's gonna crash and burn. Oh, actually, no. There, there are three options right now. One, it's just gonna stay as it is. Cause look at YouTube, for instance. Like YouTube has been fucking up since like 2016 for six years. They have not made a single good decision on that platform. But right now, like, everyone's still using it because it's, like, the only fucking platform there is out there that people are actually using. So it's kind of like, people always say, like, oh, man, I'm going to go try and use di a different platform. I'm going to go try it. Like, we're oh, going to leave Twitter. It's like, man, it's like, I wish people did that with YouTube or whatever, right? But they don't. So I don't see that happening. So I think, like, the, the least interesting option would be if it just stays as it is. Which right now, apart from like the verification stuff that just happened with like the, the, the Twitter blue thing and with the, uh, what's it called, with like the, the accounts coming back of certain people that were banned, it's like, those are things that have kind of changed, but other than that, like not really much has changed. So I'm kind of like, well, you know, the most boring option would be like everything just kind of like remains to be the same. That'd be boring. The other option would be it crash and burns. People actually stop using it. The platform goes under. That would be interesting. It would be interesting to see like one of the first go down, and who knows, maybe that will signify Facebook to also go down because Facebook is not doing good either. The metaphors is not really spanning out as well as they'd hoped, <laughs> and it's just like it's 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 hurting. It's hurting bad. The other option could be that um, that they actually do some interesting changes to it. I think that if they were to bring back Fine, that might be an actually like very interesting situation because what we see with Vine is that Fine is basically like the modern, like the fucking predecessor that was there before anyone else was with like this TikTok bullshit sort of video style. I am not a big fan 
It seems a second orc clan has gathered between us. Let's they are see. heavily defended on this plateau. Yeah, they visions. must be eliminated to clear a path to the war boss. I await your instructions. So, like, I'm not a big fan of, what's it called? Of, like, um... Of the TikTok model or the YouTube shorts. I've never watched them. I've never gotten into them. Uh, I Like, they're a little bit too short for my taste in terms of, like, the content that they provide. However, I do see that they've become, like, hugely popular and attract, like, a large number of people in watching them. Like, I can see that. I can see their, I can see their success. But the company that, like, that was first with that was freaking... Like, that was fine. Like, those were vines. So the fact that fine wasn't there to cash in on that, it's kind of bad. But what they have now as a chance to, like, come back is that YouTube Shorts has never really taken off all that much as far as I can tell. It's, it's not really that people are like, oh, man, I'm going to be a YouTube Shorts person. So the thing that I'm looking at is, like, if if Twitter brings back fine and TikTok might be on the on the cusp of, like, maybe getting banned... Because that is something where I feel like a lot of companies are going over, like, data. Like, like there's a lot of, like, data problems with companies. Um, YouTube, Facebook, Twitter, like, all the social medias, watch the fuck out. Uh, they're taking a lot of your data, uh, especially some of the things that I've been seeing coming around out of... Assault Marines are now available to us. Yes, please. can be built from the chapel barracks. But yeah, like, some of the things that I've noticed, for instance, or, like, so some of the things that, that may be interesting to look at is that um, yes, Apple has long since been, like, been, like, known as, like, the, the privacy, the privacy company, where one of the things that they were very much, like, loved for was that they, they, they went out there and when the NSA said, we want to, we want to crack this phone of, like, this suspect in this case, they said, no, we care about the privacy of our customers, we will not give you a backdoor. Um, so people were like, oh man, this, this yes, sure. company really cares about their privacy of their users, uh, which they don't. <laughs> like, rather clearly, uh, they don't, because, right, like, last week or so, it came out that if you, if you don't, um, even if you say, like, I do not want to be geo-tracked, I don't want my geolocation to be shared, Apple still does that. Apple still uses your geolocation data, it still gathers that, it will still share that, like, all that sort of stuff. All that sort of good stuff. Um... I shall obey. Let's see, can I not place this? As like, why, why can I not build that? Come on. There you go, thank you. Because that's that's definitely going to come back there. Um, you guys go and capture that place. Um, and Google also, like... It's actually quite interesting. I, I wonder... See, like, this is not something which I can really cover all that well on, like, in a video or on stream, because I can't really, don't really want to go through my um, Google history or, like like google data on stream because it's a like it's rather personal and also i've turned a lot of the stuff off but if you're not careful like go look for for like your youtube privacy settings and see like what it all stores because one of the things that if you haven't set it up properly like one of the things that can and like most likely is set up right now is that it like it follows your voice commands like if you have voice commands set up basically it will listen into pretty much everything around you and it will store conversations it will transcribe those conversations um and like you'll just have like an entire transcribed histories of like very private in-house conversations that you never thought that you'd share with anyone. Those will just be out there on Google servers. And unless you explicitly go out there and tell Google like I do not want this, um, they will not like like it will just be out there. So like a lot of platforms out here are fucking with your data. Oh yeah, dude, it's really really bad. <laughs> It is really, really bad. So, like, for instance, uh, one of the things that Google does, it's, like, if you have, like, it will it will keep track, obviously, of all your searches. It will keep track of everything that you've watched. But it will also keep track of, uh, like, when you log onto your phone, it will keep track of, like, where the location is of your phone. It has algorithms, like, it has algorithms in place that detect, like, if you have your phone, whether you're sitting, whether you're walking, whether you're in on a train, or whether you're on a car. Um, it will track, like, when you wake up, like, when, when your phone wakes up, when you put it to bed, what kind of, like, uh, apps you use, that sort of stuff. Uh, it also has, like, yeah, it, it has, if you use the voice assistant stuff, it will keep track of, like, all the, um, private stuff. Because, like, basically, like, one of the things that they, that they say, and this is very interesting with, for instance, like, this is an ongoing development with, uh, Amazon Alexa. If you use Amazon Alexa, um, basically, one of the things that they, that they want to introduce with Amazon Alexa right now is, um, here, hold on, let me, let me, um, Alexa, uh, what's it called? Um, 
heuristic or so. Um, health and emotion. Let me see. Let me see this. Let me see this. Um, what's this called? Oh, I, 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 let me see. If I, let me see if I can find what this thing is called again. Um, because basically, like, Amazon Alexa, like, if you use one of these voice assistants, like, one of the things that they have is that they can, they can, like, um, um, basically, like, these voice assistants can determine which, um, like, who is, um, hold on. I'm gonna go and like look this up for now. Let me, let me, let, let me go grab this real quickly. Um, cause, cause I want to make sure that I have the right thing. But yeah, let me, let me go read this. We will start out with the slogan, don't be evil, which is pretty fun now. And incredibly sad. Yeah, they did, like, they, they've dropped that. <laughs> which is quite honest that they've actually dropped that, eh? It's like, it, it's good that they dropped that. It's not that they're like, they're going about it. So pretending. Um, but yeah, let me, let me, let me just go and look this up real quickly. Um. Can I can I go and like put this on the on a pause, please? All right, I'm just gonna put this on pause. Hold on. I want to go look this up. I want to see if I can find a proper thing here. So we're gonna go and uh, put this on here, and I'm just, I'm just gonna go look this up for a second for you guys, because uh, because because I, I want to get this right. I want to get this right. I, I, I don't just want to be saying like, oh man, this is right. And then like, not really give you anything much to go on. Um, Google, it's okay to be a little evil. All right. Um, let me go take a look here. Uh, Huntress. Oh, that would, that, that's what it called. Uh, Amazon Alexa Huntress. I thought it was heuristic, but it's hunches. Amazon Alexa hunches. Um, um, hunches. Uh, what's it? What's it called? Oh, my uh, patent. Or maybe I should just go and like look up Amazon Alexa hunches. I don't know if I can find this image right here. Uh... Let me see if we can find a good one. Amazon Alexa. It's called Amazon Alexa Hunches. And basically, like, what it is. Um... Amazon Alexa hunches. I, I want to see if we can find it, like a, like a, like the the pattern to it. Um, I don't know. I don't know. I, I cannot find it. I cannot find it right now. Like like the the image to describe it. But basically, like what is Amazon Alexa hunches? Amazon Alexa is basically your uh, your like your smart home assistant, like the, the the voice thing that you can control with your voice. Now, what it needs for like your uh, your voice control is like it needs to be able to distinguish between like or like it distinguishes between uh, different voices so it, so you can already know like who it's speaking to uh, because if you want to ask like amazon alexa like can you check my email and you're with furry people in the house it wants to know who it's speaking to such that like when you ask for let's say i ask for like can i read my email it gives me my email now that's quite like that's quite a level of detail that it's already operating on that it already knows that i am speaking to it as it already had knows my voice but what is Amazon Alexa hunches? Amazon Alexa hunches is kind of like an, an, an addition to the Alexa program where um, they're like gathering more data to to figure out what your emotional status and what your health status is. So they want to determine like if you are, for instance, like you're asking, hey, Alexa, can you suggest me some food? But you're feeling sick. You're, you're like, 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 like you're, you're having a cough. Like, <coughs> Alexa, can, <coughs> can I have some food? Um, it may suggest you first of all like something which is uh, yes, best, which like best for you to eat when you're having a cough, 
Or what it may do is like, hey, I noticed you're having a cough. Should I order you some, your, you some some medicine that will be delivered to you within an hour? Like that's basically like the like the, like the pattern drawing is basically where uh, where it's like you have this this woman like walking. And it's like, <laughs> Amazon Alexa, can you <clears throat> can you can you give me some can you, can you recommend me something to eat? Do you want uh, I I could give you a soup. I don't know if I, uh, I don't know if I feel like it. I noticed that you have a cough. Should I order some medicine? It will be delivered to you in an hour. <laughs> oh yeah, that's all right. You can do that. Okay, it's ordered. That sort of stuff is weird, right? The fact that right now you have like basically these voice assistants, which are determining or like figuring out like in your house, like what your health status is, how and what your emotional status is. So they know what like what kind of like or like they want to know what kind of emotion you're feeling, what your health status is, physical health, mental health, and then based on that, mark it on you. Now that stuff is weird, right? That stuff is fucking weird. <laughs> um and that is something which basically like all that sort of data, like this is why I recommend like if you use Google, if you use um, Amazon, that sort of stuff, go check out like what the hell kind of data you're allowing it to give, uh, especially given like the European Union rights. Um, like the EU has very strict privacy rights. So these companies, if they want to operate in all these countries, they have to make sure that they abide by the strictest rights or like the strictest laws. So, um, a lot of these companies will have to like give up like the purposes that they that they collect the data for and they should also allow you to withdraw your consent for giving that data so for instance like one of the things which is very interesting is that uh these voice assistants store every single conversation that you have with them transcribe them and store them entirely and you can request to delete that um but then they'll say like we it, like it will not be as accurate for you anymore because we cannot guarantee that's personalized enough um, that's the purpose under which they're storing it, but you should go check it. You go, you go check it if you yes, use that. Where do you still want that? Why do you want that to uh, to be the case that they that they store all of that? <laughs> um, because honestly, I've never personally been the biggest fan of this. Um, but it is something which is just a matter of fact that's been going on. And the reason why I bring all this stuff up, why this stuff is going on, is that uh, we were told by Twitter and Vine, and I feel that there might be a place for Vine to come back because. Most of these companies right now that we're talking about are all American companies. And one of the interesting things is that like American companies have been doing that, but now there's like a giant Chinese company that's been coming up and like like doing the same thing basically. And that's been that that's been like TikTok. And there is honestly like a lot of concerns about TikTok, and I wouldn't say that they're unfounded. Personally, I've never used the app and I don't really feel like using TikTok. Uh, kind of because of some of the things that are going on around it where like I don't really trust that it's like good with my privacy there have been multiple cases where uh, data has been linked back to China where the uh, where like the privacy laws definitely are not up to par with the EU laws and I don't know like how well these um, uh, our laws are up to date to deal with it I don't know. So I've never used that, but we have heard more and more signs out of like the US and the EU that they're worried about like the increased usage of, uh, of TikTok and the increased like data usage that's maybe going on to, uh, to China. And I'm not saying that like China is the only wrong player here because like America does this too. <laughs> Every single platform does this. But let's say that the, the West were to go out and ban TikTok, then there is this entire format that people have moved over to. If fine were to come back, that might be the best place for them to slot in. It might be a perfect time for them to come back. So if Elon actually goes ahead and does that, it might actually be a great time for him to do it. <laughs> so yeah, um, that kind of took an interesting turn because I was kind of like going to be talking just about um, just about like fine and then uh, uh, and like why bringing it back might be a good thing. Um, and all of a sudden they turn into uh, into like the they're like what the hell's going on with. Um, with your privacy stuff, but yeah. Well, is that why VPNs are so popular? I feel like VPNs are so popular right now because people are kind of like getting, like they're learning that what we're selling, like if a product is free, so a product like Twitch is free, a product like YouTube is free. Um, the reason why it's free is because like, it's it's like you are the product uh, for like these platforms, you are the product that, um, that they earn money on. So because YouTube and because YouTube mostly, I don't like Twitch is trying it, right? Twitch is trying it. I don't think Twitch is like the best like business model yet, but Twitch has Amazon behind it, and Amazon makes loads of money off you guys, of us basically, also of me. <laughs> it's like they make loads of money off like being able to um, 
present you with like the things that you're looking for, making you personalized recommendation offers as to like buy this. Um, just like the distribution network that they've set up is insane. Um, so a lot of like we're kind of like catching on that back in the day when we saw that Facebook was free or games were free, man, like I was over the moon. I felt like this is such a great thing. It cost me nothing and it's just fantastic. Uh, now I've kind of learned that if something is free, I need to be wary because basically it means that I am I'm the project right now. And we're seeing this people becoming more and more aware of life, like if we take it to the gaming space, that free to play games like Apex Legends, like Warframe, like Destiny, like they'll never really act in the player's best interest because they'll also always try to like milk them for the extra gameplay, the extra fun, the, the microtransactions, like trying to like not necessarily like make the game as fun as possible, but make it as fun as possible while also trying to make you pay for the game or trying to like make you be the players that the whales can play with. And I think people are catching on to it. I think VPNs are like now just being this very rather easy product where people are like, hey, you know, if they're going to be tracking you, what if, you know, like instead of like your, your IP address being your own IP address, like your IP address is some other server that like, that's not you. So they're tracking you, but they don't know you. And like, we can give you that for like $5 a month. And it's so well safe. And, and if you use this, then basically, build them from the machine cult. Then basically, like what happens is you, uh, uh, what's it called? Basically, like if you use this, then, uh, then you can also watch Netflix shows or other shows in other regions. And like, that's something that people can get very easily down with. It's like, oh shit, I have an issue. There's a problem here. I don't know how to fix it, but uh, wait, hold on. It seems like there's a $5 a month fix and then like I can best all the, all the intelligence agencies and all that sort of stuff. Fuck yes, sign me on. That said though, it's like VPNs are not like all encompassing. Like the only thing that it does is that it basically just routes your internet traffic to like another server and then sends it out. That means that all the like, like data collection that you have agreed to, to the UC services, basically still happens it just goes through another server somewhere and you don't know who that server is owned by because like a lot of these like you got to think about this right if you're paying for like one of these vpns like these vpns also need to upkeep their servers so they got to make sure these servers are be are able to like handle the traffic and if they're gonna go for like the lowest possible price it's like how are you gonna make that who knows, right? Especially when you come to free VPNs, I would steer, steer the fuck clear from free VPN, free free VPNs, because right now you're trying to use like a security safety device sort of thing. Um, but you're taking it free, which means that you're the product. Well, what kind of product can they take from you other than like literally all of your internet traffic that's going for that service? So it's like you're kind of like making yourself quite vulnerable using a VPN if you're using one right you don't fully trust. Um, and that's something which I feel like a lot of people don't really do research into and that's also why like I've kind of stayed back from using a lot of VPNs uh, because the added benefit like I feel the perceived benefit that people have is larger than the actual benefit that it, that like it does provide that said like no VPN is probably better than like some VPN is probably better than no VPN but who knows right I feel that there's also like a lot of like browsing habits which can be improved um, there are some people who have advocate that, listen, I will never, like, I will never use, uh, what's it called? I will never use, um, like, uh, a browser in just my base operating system. So what did I mean with that? Like, you have virtual machines, and I've never really explored virtual machines all that much. I do want to do that at some point in time. Um, maybe I'll, like, like, I'll explore it and, like, make some sort of, like, series about it. Like, where I explore, like, like, what are, like, good, like, good, uh, what's it called? good um brother, virtual machines to like join in uh, to, to, to like use and then like oh how to use words. that how to set it up and like what the benefits are because basically like what a um what a vpn is, like what a uh virtual machine is basically it's like another os running inside your os so basically like if you're using a computer your computer basically has an operating system which like operates like the the bare metal it operates like the the components that you have inside your computer and what you have with a uh with a VM, a virtual machine is basically like a virtual computer. So like, basically like your computer is simulating another computer and in that like you built your own OS. So like, that's how people can try to have, for instance, like they can try and experiment with like using Linux. If you've never used Linux and you want to try it, if you don't want to site load it onto your, your, your machine, you can have it as a virtual machine. Or you can have a virtual machine of like another version of Windows, or you can have a virtual machine of, of Mac OS. 
um, or what you can have, and like this is how I learned about virtual machines, was I was playing Warframe one day, and there was this one dude that I was playing with, that, that I was like, that I met in recruiting chat, when we were still having these tower keys. So basically for tower, tower keys, basically like you went into the void, you needed to have one key, one person needed to have a key, and then four people could go into like the void and get like a special prime part. And there was this one guy that was looking for one more person, so I did a key share, and I joined in with him, and then he said like, don't worry, uh, th there's two other guys in here, but they're both my other accounts, they're running on VMs, um, and like, I'm just using them to collect the stuff, so they won't do anything. So basically what he did is he simulated two other computers on his one computer such that he could simulate having two more computers running like two other accounts and then using that to far more efficiently. Now that was rather much against terms of service. I think later on he also got in trouble for that. But that's basically like how I learned about this stuff. Um, and I've like, I've heard from some people that they say like, I will never use anything. Um, like I will never browse the internet. Um, without using a virtual machine. Because basically, since a virtual machine is a virtual computer, with like its own operating system, with its own file structure, that I can contain, um, let's say that I were to go out to the internet and I were to like get certain, like I were to click on things that I don't fully trust, and it were to infect my system, I can literally just delete the entire virtual machine, get the fire itself of like my computer, and don't have to worry. Because basically, like the moment that you open yourself up to the internet, like you are opening this up, like the internet is made to be shared. It's like a network. Like the entire point of the network of the internet is to share data between computers. So data is going to be shared. You're going to open yourself for, up to receiving files. And unless you're 100% sure that what you're clicking on is completely safe, you can never be sure that you're going to be completely safe. And if you use your computer, which a lot of people do, they use only one computer in which they keep all their very important files. If you use that computer to browse the web and you keep that computer open to like potential dangerous attacks, uh, to potentially losing everything if you click the wrong link, that's just dangerous, right? <laughs> I don't necessarily, like, fully believe that that's something which, like, everyone needs. Uh, but that's also because, like, I haven't really dived all that deep into it. And I feel like that's something which I do want to explore a little bit more because a lot of times, like, what I learn is that a lot of our feelings of safety online come from just, like, not being very well aware of, like, what's actually going on, right? Um... So, yeah, like, I'm quite curious about that. And, like, I will definitely, I'll definitely start exploring that um, in, like, over the next couple of months. And if you guys are interested, I'll make, like, videos about it. Or, like, we'll cover it on stream. Or, like, we'll, we're, we're going to go and explore, like, how how do VMs work? Um, how easy does it set it up? Like, what kind of protection does it offer? Do you need that protection? Um, is it reasonable to assume that someone might need that protection? Um, and I'm actually quite curious about that. Actually, I don't know. Does anyone, does any of you actually have some experience with like using VMs? Does anyone here use a VM to watch a stream? Let me see here if I upgrade this right here. Uh, you guys will be this. I, I need more resources, man. Holy fuck. We are the Emperor's chosen. All right, you know what we're gonna do? Oh shit. All right, every one of you guys. We're gonna go and attack that, eh? Because we need to get going. We, we need more resources. We definitely just need more resources uh, here. I cannot upgrade to my second place. Uh, let's see, virtual containers are the follow-up to virtual machines, stuff like Docker, for example. Oh yeah, Docker, dude. I've only very briefly used Docker. Like I've only very limitedly, uh, like limited use it, but I will try that. I've used VMs for years, as it makes software development more, much more easier. Oh, interesting. So what are like uh, like what kind of VM software do you do you like to use? Like what what, what VM software have you used for that? Cuz I think the only one that I've tried was like VMware, but I've tried it like years back, like back before even did YouTube. I was like I grabbed that back when I uh, when I encountered that guy in, in, in Warframe. Because he kind of got me interested like holy shit. So like you're using this stuff to uh To, like get more stuff count me in actually like i did not like for the record i never did it i never did that sort of stuff uh but i did like just go take a look at like what the hell this magical thing was that he was so so happy about there is no such thing as innocence
All right, you guys move on. Yes, most beneficial. You guys build another listening post. You guys move on. Now I'm gonna have to make sure that we. Step on the road to disappointment. Holy fuck, you guys! Are y'all dumb, brother? Brother! Oh, these guys are rough. Hope is the first step on the road to disappointment. Oh man, these guys are rough. So basically what happened there, you, you may not have seen that, but that, that, that was, oh my boy, that was rough. Um, basically what happened there is I, uh, I sent my like jumpsuit guys that could jump up ledges. Uh, I sent them to like jump up like the little ridge over there. Uh, I'll show you in a second. I just got to make sure that these guys are all moving. Oh fuck, they're being attacked here. Do I have any units here? All right, you guys. I await your instructions. Yes, Lord. Oh, I've lost them. I've lost them. I've lost them. Oh, I'm not gonna go build two of these guys. I was, I was, I was too, too, too keen. Uh, virtual box mostly. I played World of Warcraft with a VM to be able to play along with my old, a bit like you described in Warframe. Yeah, that's that's how I first got introduced to it. All right, you guys will have one of those. You guys will have one of those. All right, now you guys move on to there. All right, so this is okay here. Um, let's increase this a little bit. Increase that. All right, for now, let's just hold these positions, I guess. I don't think I want to push on right now. Let me just like recover some of my resources now. It's a little bit too excited. Uh, but yeah, uh, dual boxing is a technical term, I believe. Okay. I'm gonna I'm gonna go explore for uh, like a virtual box because I don't think that I've really used that, um, and that's something which I actually find really interesting. Like what the difference between those is. Yes, Lord. I exist to serve. Let me see if we can go build a couple of turrets here. Um, build that. Build. Uh, yeah, I yeah I need to capture more of this stuff. Okay, increase that. We're gonna have to increase that. All right, you guys move forward. You guys also move forward. Increase this. I guess we're gonna get into a bell anyway. All right, then we might as well just move in to go capture that. Yeah, I'm just I'm just too short on resources right now. I hate it. I hate it. I'm so short. Uh, there's not much of a difference between uh, VMware and Virtual Box, to be honest. Okay. So they kind of function the same. I see. But yeah. So like, do you also use them for like uh, for, for for like anything else like browsing? Uh, like, have you ever considered using it for like browsing the web and stuff? Is it something that you feel like outside of gaming or like software development that that's something that people may want to may want to use, or is it just something which is kind of like it it, it it has some useful cases but you don't necessarily need it? Because I know some people who are like were like very very much into yeah I like you fucking need it I I would never go go out there to go out on the web without it, and I don't know whether that's like herald it. Like whether that's like warranted, I mean, that's something that's really the case, or whether it's something which may be like a little bit of an overreaction. I just don't know. I feel like I know a little bit too little about that. All right, you guys go take over that. Yes, most beneficent one. All right, you guys move over to there now. We have two turrets here. I think that will be enough. I hope that will be enough. I await your instructions. Actually, build another turret here, please. Just build another one. I don't care. We're just going to go build another one. In the meantime, I hope that we have captured that thing there. And we have captured... Yes, we have captured that thing there in a moment. I just want to see these guys come in. 
Under fire. Increase your power there. Alright, that position is secure now as well. So now we're just going to have everyone move into there. And then I want to see where my where my guy is. Where's my other guy? Yes. You build listening posts right here. I definitely need more of those. Because I also need one right there. Have you served her? Have you? Yes, oh, yeah, build. you're ready to build. All right, go build, go build, go build, go build. There. Perfect. Um, I don't use to browse the internet, but if you're doing something that you don't want to be linked to, it might be an option. But you'd still need something like a VPN and stuff is still running on your own IP. Yeah, I, like, I feel that, I feel that, like, a VPN, I still want to find, like, a good VPN. And, I, and, and like, I feel a lot of, like, the, the information that's out there, especially when it comes to, um, what's out there via YouTube, it's so clouded by the VPN sponsorships that, like, I want to have, I want to have a good overview of what are some good VPNs out there. What, what is actually, like, what do you need to consider when you, when you, when you yes, use a VPN? Because, like, a lot of people can go out and say, like, oh, our, our VPN is secure. Our VPN is, like, good. We don't sell your data, that sort of stuff. But then you also have, like, posts coming out where it's like, hey, you know, this VPN was called keeping logs. This VPN is actually, like, not all that good. It's like, Basically, the shit that I see being promoted on YouTube is not the sort of stuff that I trust. Because, like, look at, for instance, uh, what's it called? Look at, for instance, Raycons. Raycons is like, the, the Raycons wireless earbuds. Like, they're being promoted everywhere. But if you look at, like, if you look at what is their actual audio quality, it's not good. It's not great. It's like, it's okay. It's like, generally, you'll be fine using them, probably. Like, I've not don't used them, but from, like, the, the like, audio file people that I watch that I've actually refuted. They're like, yeah, like, they're fine. They're not great. Like, no, they're definitely not great for the price, but if you're buying into this brand, it's it's okay, I guess. And that's also what I feel when it comes to, like, VPNs. I don't feel like a lot of people actually do their due diligence when they're, when they're getting their sponsorships to so actually check, is this thing really good? Is this thing actually, like, worth it? Or is this just, like, we're just repeating their... Um, their marketing stuff is like, this shit is safe, but we don't actually know if it's safe. And that, that's something I don't know. And I actually would like to know. But yeah. Uh, I've used Molfad for ages. Molfad? I have not heard of that before, eh? Let me see. Molfad. Molfad VPN. Privacy is a universal... I like, actually, that I've not heard of this before. Let's see here. You have a right to privacy. Uh, let's see. Why MoFab VPN? If you entrust your privacy, we expect you to ask this question. Anonymous accounts, we don't ask for any personal e info, not even your emails. And encourage anonymous payments for if cash or crypto. I'm not the biggest fan of crypto, but like, I can also. So, so, so like, the thing that, that I've found with crypto is like, because like, I, I don't know, like, I recently heard that like a large majority of the, of the like coins, the, 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 the coins that have been made over like the last few years have all been like these pump and dump scam schemes like holy shit crypto has been like for a bad time like a really bad time lately um just because people just all use them for like a get rich quick scheme it's so bad um but then again like crypto of its origin actually had a really good purpose um but yeah no login uh let's see your privacy is your privacy we don't log any activity our long-term goal is not to not store payment details we request independent audits over of our app that's interesting that's where based on suite of integrated kill switch no pay refuse i like that like i really like the word of mouth stuff so yeah like features this is they have white support vpn protocols in the app i actually like this is interesting let's see what kind of what kind of pricing do they have one month five bucks a month one year five bucks a month one decade five bucks a month wow they keep it consistent i like that and i also like did ourselves free stuff um because i don't i don't, I don't want to have a free free option on my vpn that seems weird um yes well, that seems awfully reliable uh, i will like i don't know anything about it but i will research it i will definitely give it a give it a proper proper look over because this seems quite promising um All right, let's see here. We have one of these, one of these, one of these. Upgrade that one. We need one of those. Which also needs a commander and an increase. And then we need, I guess, let's make one of these and then let's make one of these. 
Do we have more? Yeah, tank's almost there. All right. Would you research in a virtual computer? Perhaps. <laughs> um, I think that like VPN research is gonna be different though. Like, um, a VPN is gonna be very, very different than, um, than, for instance, uh, like, a virtual machine. Like, that stuff is wildly different. Alright, let's, uh, let's go, let's go on the offensive again. I think that we've recovered enough troops right now. Now, I remember that, like, when I actually learned about strategy in this game, like, one of the things that I did was I would go out and use, uh, what's it called? I would use my scouts to, like, move on ahead such that my tanks could fire without any problems. Um, and, like, destroy the enemy base before, like, we would even move in. I'm not doing that right now, and this is because I've learned so much from, um... That is dumb. We will establish a forward base at this location to facilitate ready access to space marines. We will need men to ensure the war boss is dead and buried. All right. Um. <laughs> that is fucking dumb. Um. Uh, I think what I'm gonna do now is uh, I'm just gonna go on like uh, menu. Skip this right here. Uh, okay. Um. Uh, I just realized something. I need to go and uh, do something real quick. Uh. I will talk a little more about this uh tomorrow. Um. But I first need to go and do something right now. Uh, I'll speak with you all later. Um, <laughs> it's not very dire, but I will go and uh, I do need to go attend something right now. Uh, thank you very much for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you all uh, next time. Goodbye.